environment. Hmm. Environment is everything around us. It can be living things or non-living things. It provides us shelter, food, and natural resources that can help us to live better. But the environment is not being taken care of by the human. And here are the some reasons. First one. The rubbish dump into the river that can cause fishes are tight because the water is already polluted. Second, rubbish are thrown in everywhere in the street that can cause a bad smell and it affects our health. And lastly, factories produce chemicals that will pollute the air and also the water that has a big impact to affect our health. Let's begin in how to protect our environment. First, we need to learn how to save energy. Turn off the lights and other electronic devices you're not using to save energy. We know that electricity is generated from natural resources and during the process, harmful waste is produced which will pollute the environment. So when we save electricity, lesser waste is being produced so we can reduce pollution. Do avoid wasting water. Make sure that you turn off the water tap after using. Is Conserving water is important because it keeps water pure and clean while protecting the environment. Conserving water means using our water supply wisely and be responsible. Waste segregation is important so that the dry, wet, and poisonous materials will not mix up. This is the most relevant step that will help the environment and help us to reduce the garbage in landfills. And by segregating our waste, we have two segregation which are biodegradable. These are materials which decay as leaves, twigs, fruits, vegetables, flowers, and papers. While non-biodegradable, these are materials or substances that do not undergo decay as a rubber, plastic, and metals. And by segregating your waste, we also have a three colors which are the green that stands for organic and red is for reject and lastly blue for dry. Again, in segregating, we can help us to reduce the garbage in the landfills. By segregating the tin can and also the cardboard, we put it on the dry waste. Also, orange peel and leaves, we put it on the organic waste. Better working conditions are created for the waste collectors. The waste collectors only touch dry waste, which are the following. And after segregating, we also have recycle. The importance of e-waste management. The recycling of e-waste serves a lot of useful purposes. For instance, include protecting human and environment health by keeping those devices out landfills. Planting more trees can help in reducing the levels of air pollution as they absorb pollutant gases and filter out the particulates. Trees gives off oxygen that we need to breathe. We know that trees bring us peacefulness. It creates a blessing and relaxing environment. Also, trees reflecting the harmful rays of the sun and maintaining a balanced temperature. We need to plant trees to preserve our environment. And now, I will show you how beautiful our world is. We only have one earth. Let's take care of it. Our environment is the surroundings where we live. so many living and unliving things around. Some are natural. And some are man-made. Either way, we have gone through such a living that we cannot skip these things in our day-to-day -day life. 
that environment plays an important role in healthy living and existence of life on planet Earth. So it is very important and need of the hour to preserve all things that make up our environment. There are many ways to protect our environment. It is important to understand them and implement them. Like what I said, we only have one earth. And let's take care of it. Save the environment. Turn waste into happiness.